Ever since the argument Mirako had with her mom, things have been awkward in the house. They have not had a proper conversation in days and it seems like the situation is not about to change. Meanwhile, she and Kara have been texting and calling each other all the time. You and your mom are still not talking? We are trying, but I don't know, it's not the same. Things have been weird since that day. Just give it time. Things will go back to normal and you'll forget anything happened. <laughs> I hope. I miss you. I miss you too. Are you still coming for me to do your hair? I've been asking you and you've been dodging me. No, it's just that I've not had free time. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like you don't want to hang out with me. No, it's not like that. You know I love spending time with you. Okay, then come. I'm free today and I'm about to start my exams and once that starts, I won't have time to do your looks for the next three weeks. So you better come. Okay, let me see. I'll confirm in an hour. Okay, you'll tell me. Yeah, I'll let you know. You can't keep dodging her forever. I know. Just go. Man, I don't think I should be spending so much time with her. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I feel like the more I talk to her, the more I fall in love. And I don't want to repeat what happened with Anna. What do you mean? Buliwa Mulaba, I start planning our future and I just don't want to give myself false hope. Gwe, you have known this girl for like three weeks and she already has you like this? I just need some time to get over it before I can see her again. You're overcomplicating things for nothing. Me as me. I think you should just go, Genda. Hey, wow, this place is so big. It's like a castle. Yeah, people always say that, but I'm used to it now. Do I need to greet your parents? No, uh, the maid just left and my parents are at work. So it's just us. Do you want to eat something? No, not now. Are your parents fine with me being here? Yeah, I bring my friends here all the time. There's no problem. Wow, maybe it was just me with the strict parents. Are you serious? But I feel like allowing your friends to visit is a normal thing. Not at my home. Eh? I feel like that's too much. Mm-hmm. Don't get me started. By the way, you never told me what happened with your parents. Eh, it's a long story. We have time. You can tell me when I'm doing your hair. Okay. But don't overpull. My scalp is very sensitive. No, I'll be gentle, I promise. You'll see. You sit and tell me. Okay, let me see. Um, where do I even start from? My parents had always been very strict. I was used to that from the beginning, so it wasn't new to me. But the real problem started when someone told them I was a lesbian. Who told them? Hmm, you think I know? Up to now, I don't know who it was, and that's why so many people are blocked from my socials. Anyway, I had always been a tomboy, and it was never an issue. I just grew like that, and surprisingly, they never really had an issue with it. Did you play sports? Yeah. I played basketball, and Bambi, the girls liked me. They would come to cheer for me. <laughs> I can see why. Miracle, don't vibe me if you don't mean it. What if I mean it? Go away. You're just playing around with me. Now, can I continue? <laughs> Fine, continue. Yeah, I was saying, my parents found out and they took me to this pastor to change me. The guy told me to change my clothes. I was supposed to start wearing only dresses and skirts. Wow, I can't imagine you in a dress. You'll be shocked. I actually used to wear them sometimes and it looked sexy. But now they spoiled it for me. Yeah, you missed. No, now I want to see. What can I do? I'm begging. I don't wear dresses for free. Kara, I will pay you. No, I'm joking. Just talk to me nicely and I'll think about it. Maybe one day I'll surprise you. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh, continue. Do you know that Chiman even told them to stop me from playing basketball? I think that's the thing that hurt me the most. What? How does basketball even connect to being gay? Gwe, I also didn't get it. He said it was a temptation, but attracted girls to me. 
The guy said no more basketball, no more pants, no more cutting my hair. Everything in my life became about not being gay. And Bambi, I really tried. I did everything he told me. I prayed, I fasted, I attended the counseling sessions, Kwegamba. But nothing was changing. I would have dreams where I would be with girls. You had dreams doing things with girls? Like what? You know, things. Eh eh? You want details? I'm not giving you details. You've never had a sex dream? No, I just wanted to see something. So if you had such a dream, would you tell the person? Um, back then no. But now it depends. Depends on what? I don't know, the situation, the person, so many things. But back then, I had to tell the pastor everything, every thought I had and every dream I had about girls. And that man was weird. It was like he liked hearing about it, as if it turned him on. Then one time he started trying to touch me and he would tell me Buddha Spirit was leading him. Ew! I know, right? And I tried to tell my parents that I felt uncomfortable with him, but they didn't listen. Imagine, a whole pastor? Are you surprised? Yeah, I wouldn't expect something like that from a pastor. It seems you don't know this world. It's always the people you don't expect. How long did you have to see that guy? Oh, it was for one full year. That guy chewed their money, yet nothing was changing. Anyway, me, I started wearing my pants again. I would leave the house in a dress, then reach somewhere and change my clothes. And sometimes I would go and play basketball. The basketball thing I have still failed to understand. You know? Anyway, someone reported me again. I just came home one evening because they were waiting for me. They checked my bag and found the pants. Ah, they told me to leave the same day. Ati, it was a sign that I was unwilling to change and they cannot have a gay child. Buna was shaming the family and they said I'm going to spoil the other kids. They made it sound like I would try to molest my own sisters. Hmm, that thing really hurt me. I can never forget it. Anyway, they stopped paying my tuition. They said Mbua should go back to those people who are paying me to be gay and I tell them to pay my tuition. Jesus, wow. Way I saw real life. I really asked myself which people are those who have been paying me. Nenga Sibalaba. I almost asked for directions. And if it wasn't for Kim, I don't know where I would be more nagwe. So that thing is not true? Mm-hmm. Of course not. No amount of money would make me go through what I went through. Anyway, in that moment I wished it was true. I was really badly off. Like you know someone with no plan? That was me. You know the funny part is, I was actually trying. I had stopped seeing the girl I was with a long time ago. I just wanted to wear pants and play basketball. And they told me to never go back home. Even my siblings are not allowed to talk to me. Kara, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. Yeah, my baby brother phoned me online and we were talking for like two months, then he suddenly stopped. Baby brother? How old is he? <sighs> He's like 15, but to me, He's always going to be my baby brother. I wish I had siblings. Do you know why he stopped texting you? I don't know. I have a feeling they caught him. I looked for the account and it was not there. I think they deactivated it. I even fear what they might have done to him for talking to me. He told me the kids miss me, but no one is allowed to even say my name at home. I miss them so much. Sometimes I just cry at night. My siblings are like my kids to me. I took care of them from when they were babies. And now, I can never see them again. You'll see them again, Kara. They can't keep you away from them forever. I have not changed my handle on my number ever since. I'm just waiting for my brother's message. But I feel like I'm missing so many parts of their lives. By the time I left, the last spoon was starting to talk. And she had learned my name. But now I feel like she has even forgotten me. I'm worried that they now all hate me. They don't hate you. Have you met yourself? <laughs> it's impossible for someone to hate you. Mm, miracle. I don't think you know what you're saying. The way you look at the world is so unrealistic. Life is not rainbows and butterflies. Kara, the people who hate you are people who don't know you. 
I'm sure your siblings know you and they can't forget you. This is not olden days. They will find you online. It's only a matter of time. I hope you're right. <laughs> if you had a pill that could make you straight, would you take it? Ha! No! Really? Why not? I feel like it would make your life easier. I mean, that that's true. But I accepted myself and I have inner peace. In a way, all that shit happening was really for the best. It would have been nice if my parents had loved me. But man, I don't know. I went through hell and I came out alive and I am so proud of myself for that. Uh, how did you do that? How did you accept yourself? Eh, I can't lie. It's the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. Especially after those sessions with the pastor where I had learned that everything about me was wrong and, it, and that I was destined for hell if I didn't change. Do you know how scary it was for me to realize that nothing I did would ever make me stop being gay? I can imagine. I was broken down to nothing miracle. Like I've never been in such a dark place mentally. Even in my memories of that time, the sun is never out. It was so bad, I almost didn't survive. I wanted to just die so I could stop feeling like that. But the thing about rock bottom is that you can only go up from there. And all I had was me and Kim Bambi. Kim really helped. But at the end of the day, I had to look at myself and accept who I saw and love that person. No one else could do that for me, not even Kim. I had to do it myself. I had to choose myself. Wow. That's... Yeah. Can I tell you something? You know what you said about those dreams? Uh-huh. I had a dream about you some time back. After that night when I found you in the bathroom. Oh, what was it about? Um, we were kissing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I couldn't stop thinking about you. And ever since we kissed that other day, I can't get you out of my mind. I want to kiss you again. Miracle. I don't think we should. Oh. It's not that I don't want. Then what's the problem? You're getting married. I just can't. Like, what are we even doing? Can't we just see where it goes? No, Miracle, I've done this thing before. I know where it goes and I don't want to get involved in it again. I honestly think we shouldn't be texting and spending so much time around each other. I feel like you're making this a big deal. It's really not that deep. We can just have fun as friends. But that's the thing. This is not just a game to me. It's more than that. But I know to you this is just some fun experiment. That's not true. But you have just said that. And you said yourself that you're straight, right? <sighs> right? Okay, but what if I'm not sure? What if I'm confused? I thought that was your friend. I was lying, obviously. Kara, please. I've never felt this way about anyone and I don't know what's happening. You do something to me. Okay, me too. I'm also catching feelings, but then what? Feelings are not enough. I don't know. I've been praying for God to forgive us and stop me from wanting you and nothing is changing. I don't need God to forgive me. I've done nothing wrong. Kara, my faith is important to me. You know what the Bible says. It's a sin. It's not right. Wow. What? I think I want to go home. But I'm not done with your hair. I'll go and they'll finish the rest another time. Are you angry with me? I'm not angry, Miracle. But right now, I feel like I'm making you a dirty sinner just by even being around you. It's like you didn't hear anything I said. Kara, I've not said that, but I'm just saying. You know what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. What do you expect me to do? Look, Miracle, I get it. I understand. You really do not need to preach to me. Let's just leave it at that. What does that mean? Why are you standing up? I'm not done. Maybe we can just try to be friends. No more friends. But right now, I need to go. Okay, then I'm asking you as my friend to stay and let me finish your hair. Please. We don't have to talk about it. We can just watch TV. Please, I'm almost done. Let me just finish. Fine. Thank you. Let me come. I need to get something from my room. Uh, wait for me here. Don't leave. Okay.
Kara is left alone with her thoughts to keep her company. Her mind is racing. She considers just leaving while Miracle is gone, but she chooses to stay. She walks around, exploring the magnificent house and the photos on the walls. Miracle looks just like her mom, but she has her father's color and his smile. There are shelves of books and big expensive looking art around the whole place. The TV looks like it could pay Kara's rent for five months. She's still admiring the art when she hears the door opening. Kara, who is expecting Miracle, turns to see a lady with Miracle's face. Only, she's older. This is the lady in the photos. Miracle's mother. She is surprised to find Kara in the house and her surprise quickly turns into distaste. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. So, who are you? My name is Kara. I'm Miracle's friend. And what are you doing in my house? Um, she's helping me with my hair. Um, and where is she? She went upstairs to get something. What? I know about you people. You have been recruiting people's children into those stupid mannerisms. So, what do you want with my miracle? Excuse me? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm saying. I know about you. Oh, I've made you wait. I really looked for it and I wasn't seeing it. Oh, ma'am, you're back. This is my friend Kara. Mm. I'm helping her with her hair. Mm. We have met. When you finish, you come to my room. Okay. Miracle, I think I'm just going to go now. But I'm not done with your hair and you didn't even eat anything. No, there is food at home. I love Kim cooking. I just need to go. But thank you for the hair. It didn't hurt. You were right. Okay, so should I push you to the road to get a border? Oh, no, no, no. I'll find my way. Don't worry about it. Thank you, though. Okay. Can I hug you before you go? <sighs> okay. They embrace. But to Miracle, it doesn't feel like the hugs she and Kara have shared before. It feels different. Almost lonely. Like Kara is not there. When they separate and Kara waves goodbye, she smiles at Miracle. But the smile does not reach her eyes. Yes, mommy, I'm here. Miracle, I know you. Mom, I told you, that was my friend. She's called Kara. That's just how she is. She's comfortable like that. I don't like you associating with such people. The scripture says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. I don't want to see you around her. You cannot fellowship with darkness. I don't want you learning any bad habits. What bad habits? How is she different from any other friends who have brought home? Mommy, did you say anything to her? Yes, of course. I found some random person in my house and she looks like those homos. I had to ask her what she wants with you. She must be recruiting you. Mommy, that's my friend. How can you say something like that to her? Mm. And I suspect already your queens is that they're to be in trouble. That is why you are defending her. Mommy, no. They're just people like me and you. She's not influencing me. Ah, are you listening to yourself? I have told you I don't want to see you around her again. Do you understand me? And I'm not joking. If I see her again here, Jacobi about police. But you're judging her yet you don't even know the person she is. And I don't want to know her miracle. I am repeating myself for the last time. Sagara, Sidamo, Okukwatanga Ninawi. Oh. 